Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech. We got a package in the mail from some company called iCell. Crack it open and see what it is. Okay, crack it open. And inside we have a... Oh, apparently if you still want the box, you send them 10 bucks and they'll send you the box to CanadianAmericanDeal.gmail.com And what it is, we have a USB cable. It looks proprietary. Could be micro, I'll have to take a look at that after. We have this. What is this you ask? It's a case for the iPhone 4. But not just any case for the iPhone 4. This is the Mopi case. Basically it is a battery system for your iPhone, an external power supply. Right on. So what you do with this is you install your iPhone into it and it will charge your iPhone on the fly. It has a 1500 milliamp battery. It has a 1500 milliamp battery in it. To install the iPhone, all you do is you'll see there's a break here on the side and along the back there's a break and on this side here. So you just grip the top portion, pull that off take out the manual and in here we see the tech specs right there you see that it's an input 5 volts at 0.5 amps and it outputs 5 volts at 0.5 amps there's your dock connector for your phone on the bottom you have your power button which tells you how full the battery is this battery is full there is the power switch on the side which you can barely see because the lighting sucks in here so right now it's on and right now it's off. If you need to charge your phone, it's done right here on the side through this jack. You no longer need to use the Apple proprietary cables. How sweet is that? Have your camera hole on the top, right on. Let's get the iPhone 4 into this. Right now I got my iPhone in the OtterBox Defender case. I broke the clip, I'm still waiting for a new one, but I want to use the iPower or the Mophie. I want to use the Mophie instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of this case. Alrighty, I got it out of the case. So there's the old Defender case. We'll just tuck that off to the side. Here's the new Mophie. We'll go ahead and take the iPhone, put it in the right way, and just slide her in and dock her on. Beauty. And then you take the top part, line it up, as you can see here, and slide her on. And there's the iPhone in the case, ready to rock. Now you can see in the top right corner, it's not charging. If you flick this switch down, now it's charging. I wish I had macro on this camera, but I don't, but it is charging indeed, people. So that's right on. The Mophie case. I got this thing off Kijiji. It was one of the Kijiji daily deals. Picked it up for about 20 bucks, and uh, it's a great way to power your phone when uh, you can't get to a charger. So right on. The buttons on the side do work. There's your volume rockers, and they do work, as you can tell. I'm hitting volume down, volume up, works fine. Power button's on the top. You can just tap it, turns off the phone, and your headphone jack. The only problem I foresee with the headphone jack is if you have a head set of headphones with a really thick 3.5 millimeter jack, then yeah, you might have a problem getting her in there. But uh, other than that, it's not a big deal. Makes the phone a little thicker, feels really, really good. The case feels like a rubber finish. So yeah, all in all, it should be pretty good. The other question I always get when I do cases is, does the camera on the back get distorted by the, uh, the surround? Well, let's see. We'll fire up the camera and look, you don't even see any, you don't see any rings. Works perfectly. So the Mophie case, right on, friggin' mint. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little unboxing and installation of the Mophie case on uh, my iPhone 4. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments section below. And until next time guys, take care.